Okay, hi, this is Ron McKinney with Body to Photo, uh, getting ready to continue with our webinar series. Today we have Ashley Ellis with the Boston Ball Ballet here with us. She's a principal dancer with them. And uh, Raquel, I'm going to totally mess up your name, Griasi. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> with the Le Grand Ballet in Canada. Um, so if you guys don't mind, uh, why don't you just start off just by introducing yourself for just a moment, and, uh, and then we'll get started with our critiques. Ashley, you go. You want me to go first? Um, like Ron said, I'm dancing currently with the Boston Ballet. I'm American. I'm originally from Southern California, and now I'm in Boston. And um, yeah, I'm excited to be here and hopefully help photographers on their journey to dance photography. Okay. Uh, I'm Raquel Guriassi. I'm from Italy. I'm currently a principal dancer with the Le Grand Ballet Canadien. I used to dance with Ashley in Boston Ballet. I was there for four years. And uh, right now I'm in Montreal and I'm really happy to be part of this project actually. It's very interesting and yeah, thank you Ron. <laughs> oh, you're so welcome. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring on our pictures. Mm -hmm. So our first picture here is uh, from Derek Cleveland. He's not here with us today. Um, he's actually at work. So if you guys uh, wanna just uh, start in on this image, what's your first impression of this? Well, I would say the the lines are very nice, no, Raquel? The hands are beautiful, the legs are stretched, feet are pointed. Yeah. Uh, as far as the lines go, um, what are your first impressions? I mean, I wish some most of the time I wish if a jump could have been taken a little from um, a lower perspective, it would look lower. more like the movement would look like. A little more like she's in the air as here seen at the fountain and stuff you know it's kind of I feel like it cuts the the line so I would have gone this yeah. way but um, yeah. line wise I, it's great just I wish she could they could have done it again without her breaking the neck because mm -hmm. I feel like she if her neck would be straight it would be like a pretty like um, line, parallel line between the leg and the right, and right. Yeah. So and you're maybe, saying her, her her head is too far back, is what you're saying? Yeah, I think her neck is like that instead of like that, which makes it like, as you can see, not like with the leg parallel, kind of cuts. Yeah, um, true. The like going up. Yeah, mm -hmm. and just I wish maybe they could have done it from um down so they will look more like she's flying but uh it's very pretty mm -hmm. i would probably and choose a different dress <laughs> i was thinking the same thing <laughs> to make the lines a little bit just accentuate the lines a little more no yeah 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 i was also thinking because like maybe the yeah and um, just like her beautiful tan skin and the colors in the background, I feel like it, it could pop more. It's, it makes it a little bit busy with all the colors. Um, and I think it's just because the skin tone on the yellow, that's just something that came to mind for me, that yeah. it kind of gets lost a little bit with the background. Yeah. But, um, but I see the point of the water jumping and the dancer yeah. jumping. No, the idea is great. But on Raquel's point of the broken head, that's something that photographers, um, usually something like this, it's great. You get an awesome jump shot, but then something small like that can be fixed. And that's when the photographer needs to give the feedback to the dancer, right, Raquel? Because it's kind of nice. Yeah. You can't see what's happening and yeah. the dancer may not have realized she did that. So yeah, I had like a few experiences like that where sometimes when we do, when we jump or we do it we don't really realize as we cannot see ourselves mm -hmm. and would be nice to have someone to tell us you know about these little details that for example for me i'm very picky and i'm perfectionist 
So mm -hmm. if it would be my picture, I would have not used it because I know it's something I just, on me, doesn't look yeah. good. Right? So that's the only thing really. Like I wish maybe, yeah, they could have had another shot, maybe even like, uh, you know, with the head. Looking a little. the other way. Yeah, but that's the only thing. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. Okay, well that, that, that was really good. We're gonna give like each image four minutes. So um, um, that was it for that one. Yeah. Uh, any final comments before I switch over did, that you really wanted to add? No, not really. I just, okay. Yeah, maybe okay. next time another dress. <laughs> Wardrobe choice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is an image by Ed Brett. And um, I'm going to bring Ed on here. Here we are. And let's see. Ed, are you on now? I think he's muted. Oh, is he muted? Ed, can you check your microphone? Okay. Well, I know he's here, but uh, apparently we can't hear him. So um, we'll just continue on with this image unless he comes back on. Um, so what are your first impressions of this one? I'm back. Oh, there we go. Good job, Ed. <laughs> well, you don't have a picture on me, though. That's OK. That's OK. Um, just so you guys have this, I, I do performance-based images. You know, this is not. Uh, okay a studio type setup. Um, most of the time we're, we're working under GAC lighting. It's, the lighting is horrible and you, you just look and you say, who dreamt some of these, <laughs> some of these situations up we have to shoot under. But this young lady came out from the wings with this red bodice wrapped around her and did pirouettes all the way out, and I'm like, I'm looking at it going, something incredible is going to happen. And all of a sudden, she took one leap like this. And yeah, I, I agree, I should probably have been shooting lower, but we have to shoot from where we're told. And mm -hmm. I was up in the sound booth at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, we, we were saying ideal, you know, but obviously if you're watching the show, it's, you cannot really pick your spot, so yeah. that's not, yeah. that's uh, clear. What, what do you guys think of the, uh, the action and your overall impression of the image? But, so, uh, yeah, no, go ahead. you go, you go. Well, I was just going to say in general, like his, Ed, you're describing all of these challenges with shooting live performances and I feel like that's just a completely different ballpark than yeah. doing a photo shoot because the photo shoot you go for that perfect image and you repeat it repeat it until you get it right ideally because that's what you're doing you're just aiming for that photo but in performances I mean Raquel and I know because we we see performance photos of ourselves all the time and it's hard to get, even for really experienced professional photographers, it's really hard to get yeah. those images that catch just the right line and the, even the angle because the photographer is from one place and um, they can't adjust that and the lighting is what it is. So you have <laughs> yeah. to work with that. You know, everything is, is out of your control and then you have to try to capture these moments as beautifully as you can. Right. So. I'll just say that that's it's just a totally different ballpark when you're shooting that way. Um, yeah. In my opinion, this is a cool image because you can see sort of the energy. I mean, after you said it was a performance, it just kind of changed the perspective a lot because I was noticing like, oh, the backdrop that if it were a photo shoot, that should be cleaner. You know, those yeah. weights yeah, on the yeah. curtain, things like that. Um, if you're going for that perfect image, that red fabric maybe. I don't know, something different, a little even straighter or just something different. But performance, you can see the energy. She was going in one direction. But John, yeah. I don't know, Raquel, what do you have to say? No, I mean, I totally agree with you because it's, 
two completely different thing, you know. Yeah. Um, a show, a live show, and a photo shoot. But uh, if it's a live show, actually, well done because it's a pretty good <laughs> shot. Because yeah. it's very hard to, <laughs> from a live show to get like a good shot. But um, yeah, and, just and, exactly and what you said, Ash, I totally agree. And we don't get to see the performance beforehand. So that's this even is, harder. Th yeah, yeah. And I come from a sports photography background. Mm -hmm. And I just knew that something was going to go. And I watched, I watched her shift her weight. And I held off for that split second because they don't even want to hear the motor drive going off as quiet as it can be. They just want to hear that one click at the right time. Um, yeah. Okay. So I, I hate to jump in, but that's okay. Uh, we need to give like four minutes. We actually went a little bit over on this one here. Thank you, girls. So I think you did a great job, Ed. Thank you. Okay. Next up, we're going to have John Cooper's image. Here it is here. And I'm going Beautiful. to bring yeah. John up. And so John should be on now. John, are you here with us? He's also muted, I think. Okay, John, you need, need to, a microphone. You need to yeah, unmute here. yourself in the lower left corner, hopefully. Let's go I, ahead and start talking about, there you go. Okay, sorry about that. No worries. Mm -hmm. So basically I come from, I, I, I've done just about every genre of photography. I, I've been doing this a long time and um, I started shooting dancers when I was in college. I shot a dancer from the National Ballet of Canada and then kind of reconnected with dance later in my career. So I've started to shoot dancers from ABT and uh, Joffrey and Dance Theatre of Harlem. So this is Paulina when she was with ABT. I think she's with Boston now. Mm. Yeah, um, she was a friend of mine. Oh, okay, yeah, she's sweet. Um, so I just try to create images that are, are not necessarily dance photo photos, but they create a mood. They're, they're about more like portraits of dancers with, you know, obviously they're wearing uh, tutu or point shoes or whatever, but I try to create a mood um, and bring a different element to it. So it's, um, they're obviously lit and, and very uh, posed, but I'm trying to bring, you know, my sensibility to the image as opposed to just do, um, doing you know, classic dance photos. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, my, my goal is to do beautiful pictures of dancers because I think you guys are amazing. <laughs> You're like artists that uh, create sculpture with movement, and I, I, mean, and I like I, that. Yeah. So, anyway, that's, that's that. my, I, where I'm coming it's from. It's a wonderful picture. It's a really wonderful picture, I have to say. That, uh, stunning picture, beautiful. yeah, and she's yeah. beautiful. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't have too much to say it, about it. Yeah, maybe if you created maybe, a mood. If we can be really, if you want us to be like really picky, I maybe I would have done the front arm like that because it looks like I don't know, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just uh, maybe I would have used the boat. Yeah, we have alternative shots like that. Yeah, um, I, I liked this but because the back like, just looked really beautiful. Yeah, but that's like the only thing because I, I like everything about it, I like even the place, the, the lighting, the, the light. idea. The elegant even. everything yeah yeah i like using both daylight and then adding my own lights to to kind of selectively light so you get that backlight from the sun actually and then i put the light bulbs above and and just try to create a mood in the environment you know but more of a portrait than than an actual performance yeah. i like that i like the sculpture idea and just the beauty of the dancer but not necessarily too posed yeah. Okay. And I think it's beautiful. You created a really nice mood with it. Thanks. I think you achieved what you were trying to achieve, <laughs> right? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Okay. Well, that was awesome. Thanks, everybody. Good job, John. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ron. Thank you for having me. You bet. Okay. We're going to switch over to Kat Steenan now. I'm going to bring her on. And Kat should be on right now. Kat, you may want to check your your microphone. There you go. Can you okay. hear me? Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can yeah. hear you. Oh, okay, great. 
Um, I, I drew many inspirations from ballet and the art world for this, but um, I titled it Firebird after the mythological phoenix that rises from the ashes. Mm -hmm. Also after the ballet Firebird, which I've never seen. So, so what's your guys' Yay. first impression of this, Ashley? Uh, I actually really like this one. One of the things I like that I think, I mean, obviously she, well, she looks like a professional dancer and that always helps because you have the beautiful lines of the muscles and the, just the knowledge of the lines of the body that she has. I really like that the hands are the same height, so it makes it, um it's more symmetrical if so sometimes you'll have a picture that we're like one arm is higher and it doesn't look as nice but i think it's it's beautiful lines of everything and i like the the lighting is is interesting it almost to me looks like it could be a performance shot but i don't think it is i think i know why Before. you think that i colored the gels which is coloring the light stage uh, shots often have colored lights okay yeah so I, I really like it, Raquel. I'm sure you have some. No, it's great. To I, mean, I like you said. I love that you can see the shape and the muscles of the arm and the legs. Um, it's a great position. The line of the arm is beautiful. Um, yeah, yeah. Even the head. No, the way the head is yeah, going over the arm. Yeah, it's and very the, nice. hair, the French twist makes like a nice line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I Beautiful. have nothing to say. It's great. Yeah. Um, would you like to know a little more about my inspiration and the flow of this photo shoot? Sure. Um, I originally started for movies, uh, not mo not inspired by movies, center stage and red shoes. So it was a red on red theme. And then at the very end, we decided to color the lights and make it really red on red on red. And um, I titled this piece, this is my last studio shoot before COVID hit. And I titled mm -hmm. this piece right when COVID was getting, um, when we were all starting to become self-isolated. I like what you did with the red on the red on the red, as opposed to the red with the skin tone more yeah. vibrant and the red shoes. Cause yeah. this way it's the line is even more complete. I think I really I really like what you did with yeah. the lighting and the coloring. Oh, personally. thank you. Yeah, um, I think it's a little more um, depth to, or just a little bit richer than as opposed to a more clean, clear shot of like bare legs and then shoes that are a different color that kind of cut the line. But yeah. that's just my opinion. Great. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Kat. Um, well, thank you. You bet you. And now I'm bringing up Mark Schermeister. And Mark should be on. Mark, uh, looks like your mic is working, so you should be on board. Yes? I'm in. Hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. and good afternoon, Ashley and uh, Raquel. And hey, Ron, thanks for putting this together. This is really a neat opportunity for everybody. Yeah, sure. Um, I, have, I have two images today, and I kind of agonized quite a bit, believe it or not, when Ron first uh, ran this idea past me because I was trying to decide which pictures to include. So I, what, what we have are two images that I really wouldn't call my best work and I wouldn't call the worst work. But what they are is what I really like to shoot, kind of what I'm passionate about. Um, and my subject here is a young lady. She's not a professional dancer. She's a homeschooled young lady who attended a homeschooler dance academy. It's kind of a little niche that I have that I, uh, that I work with. And we really do this for the joy of doing it and creating beautiful images. Uh, so with that being said, I'd just like to hear what you have to say. Uh, and one technical thing, maybe I'd like to hear comments on uh, the young lady's feet position, uh, the supporting foot on both of them. Yeah. Um, Ash, do you want to go? I go. Uh, you you want to go first? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, there's quite a few things I see. I mean, obviously, like you said, you, she's not a professional dancer. Right. But um, for, I find always that for that for kind of position, it should always be crazy. Like, it should always be the front leg that it's bent, not the back one. 
the okay. front. I mean, it's crossed. So if the front is in, in, it's crossed in front of the other one. Yeah. Okay. So you know what I mean? Not the for this kind of position should always be that one, just because it's a better line, and it will look better even as a technique. Um, the left arm. It's a pity because it's like the hand is like bended like that, so it mm -hmm. cuts the 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 movement. See this this uh, hand, and um, for me also the strong one. I, I'm sorry, I missed that. How, how 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 would her left hand should how it should it have been? Okay. Yeah, uh, you see how yeah. it's like cutting the the movement. Okay. It, I find it could have been longer instead of this kind. Okay. Um, and the same a little bit goes for the from the front one. I feel mm -hmm. like I would have, yeah, right. I don't know, yeah. like it cut in the mm -hmm. movement. Um, as I said, for the legs, I always find this position has to always be crazy. And um, what do you think, Ashley? I mean, I think you you said most of the points I was thinking. Yeah. The quasi is really important. So again, she's describing, this is this position is FSA, so it's open. Quasi is when the the one closer to the audience is is crossing over, okay. it's in front. Yeah. It means cross. So mm -hmm. if you just think of it, of the legs sort of crossing as opposed to open, mm -hmm. then it makes for a nicer line. Yeah, and the, definitely that left, hand mm -hmm. should just extend like the energy out you don't okay. want the line to break because you're it just the whole thing will be nicer i was also thinking if if you could have her it looks a little bit static to me if she could not necessarily be in any big movement but almost like the chest up or eyes up yeah so reaching i was going to just, yeah She's looking up, but it's just kind of a little bit like this. Yeah. And she could kind of be say, like, reaching upward. Higher? Well, not I higher, was but say, her energy of her movement, of her body. Can I ask what direction? See, these aren't highly trained dancers. What direction could I have given this young lady? So I think, I would first of all, it should be not diagonal but profile because diagonal mm -hmm. really cuts the line of this position mm -hmm. so okay. like completely profile mm -hmm. the other leg in the front and i will have have her do a movement like falling in the front okay not like that standing still position right because okay. like mm -hmm. ashley says it doesn't have any i don't know yeah, you know what could. i mean but have her like also like go and like a movement and fall that would make the whole okay. not just Perfect. um but i like the idea of the red um veil it's beautiful mm -hmm. okay okay right go next one? Yeah. that's what you thought too right yeah and the next one is mine as well you want can you want to switch to that one Ron? yep there we go thank you spontaneous pose we like to play in the studio you know we a lot of we just extemporize here and this is just one of the ones that she chose that she liked that I had in my files. And I just like your thoughts on, and again, I'm always wrestling with the higher or lower um, camera. I, I thoughts. Uh, do you want me to go on this one? Um, I think it's pretty. I like the, the kind of shape of the upper arm, but again, my first impression of this one is kind of just the energy of it it's kind of static and i know this is not something where she would be falling or anything like that ideally but mm -hmm. something with the um, open chest and like she her just her eyes are there but if she could have a little more um like reaching with the eyes i don't know how you would describe it to the dancer how would you you know what I'm trying to say, Raquel? Do you think yeah. there's too much white in her eyes? When I look at it, I see too much white in her no. eyes. Maybe I'm looking at it from a portrait oh. point or something. I don't think oh. it's necessarily the white in the eyes, mm -hmm. but I can tell she just put herself in that position, just stand there. 
Right. Like, yeah. Think yeah. You, could be, you could find better thing if you will have her slowly, maybe, Moving. you know, move. And I can tell she just, mm -hmm. And, right. You know, right. That's exactly. That's I, exactly what. You know, what. It, how it. How it works. Yeah. yeah. And um, that. That I feel like. He, like Ashley says, it kind of. Um, I look at the picture. and I'm like, oh, nice. But I don't feel like. There is something more. You know. Okay. Extra. And how, yeah. how about the hands and the feet? Yeah. Um, I don't really like the front hand because I feel like it. It's. Uh, making her sh smaller because yeah. it's like really high, kind of high. I would have done a little more like lower, lower maybe. Right. Yeah, that it makes like this part longer, you know? Mm -hmm. okay. And maybe just a dress. At this point, the dress on the leg, I would have like, put it all the way so that you don't see it. Because I don't like longer to leg, see it. right? Yeah. Okay. So it just it like maybe at the top bigger. of the. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, sure. How about the, her foot? The foot is not bad, actually. Yeah. And I learned all about that from Ron's uh, last week, Ron. That's why I saw this one. I wanted to put it in there to see, see if I'm looking mm -hmm. for the right thing there. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> right? Yeah. It okay. is very important. <laughs> okay, thanks. I think Fun. we're all set. Sure. Great yep. job. And uh, next up is Mickey West. Mickey, I've already... Uh, Upgraded you to, there you are, I see your audio is on, so you're ready to join us. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, so I am a Boston dance photographer. I do not have a studio space as of yet, so I mostly shoot outside or in dance studios. Like with this one, which is in downtown crossing it's a passage between park street and downtown crossing it's really cool there's a lot of color to it yeah it's a very interesting um the setting i like it um raquel do you want to say or uh sure uh, um it's a really nice idea the like um how you say the the background like i love the mm -hmm. How you say the three-dimensional kind of look um i find like she's too much front from that kind of perspective i, I would have put a little like more far mm -hmm. for me mm -hmm. and then um i mean there is quite a few things that for example the black tights like that it just really cuts the line looks like her legs are like this big this long the dress is cutting the legs too. It looks like her legs are like this. Yeah. Um, the neck is broken, the arm lines. I mean, obviously she's probably not a professional dancer. No, she wasn't. And the hair, are, the hair are also kind of bothering me a little. This, um, I don't know. It's a nice idea, but there is, Ashley, what do you think? Yeah, I agree. I mean, you can tell she's not professional, so there are technical things that could be improved. Like, even if you were to correct her, you could say the bottom arm may be lower so that it extends yeah. from the top so arm the to the bottom be... arm. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, the and about the wardrobe, too. Yeah, if, if the, yeah, the neck is completely broken, especially if it's not even a jump. You could correct yeah. her in, like, like, the back of the neck longer either yeah look down at the bottom arm or up or but like up, up not there. looking back mm -hmm. yeah and um, uh, the wardrobe yeah. even the arm they look short with the dress with the with the sleeves right the sleeves of the dress that's what you're saying right yeah also i mean this is picky but yeah, like even the arm they look short with that kind of dress and the tights and the yeah like a, maybe a little bit of a shorter dress and then no tights to really show the full line. Even I was thinking it would be really cool if you covered up that little part of the white in the background at the point. If she was really yeah. centered in front of that, then yeah. it would be more infinity like going on. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can see that now, it's bugging me a lot. <laughs> yeah. So that's why you do 
more than one shot, right? Yep, exactly. Um, but yeah, also the hair for me like, too. Uh, I love the, if the what? I love the the background though. It's really cool. It's really cool. Yeah. Like, like yeah, like you said, more central, a little more in the back, and definitely yeah. a different wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> wardrobe, correct? <correction. laughs> but that's not you. I mean. But I wonder too if the hair could be um, crisper, so it's not blurry. I know I, I don't know if you were going for blurry or not, but just a little cleaner. It looks a little bit, even if it weren't, if it were still blurry, it's a little messy, like up at the top part. Mm -hmm. um, but that that kind of shot is hard to get. I mean, I feel like you have to do a lot of those to really get because hair you it's hard, you can't control as much, so yeah, you have to no. do it many times. So that's the fun of the digital age. You can take as many photos as you'd like. Yeah. But you know, the position actually is not really a jump. So I think I would have done something more um, simpler with the hair. Yeah. For the kind yeah. of, uh, I don't know, position. Yeah. That's I all. Agree. But yeah, I think if you. Um, if you will shoot again with some dances, you can tell them more about like the the line of the arm and the the neck and mm -hmm. um maybe having the hips a little more like profile so that the line looks even longer you know because if the hips are like that it looks square it's like that make it better it's like i think the fun for me is just getting you to the point where you and then I'm like, all right, I don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that's. I... Okay, are, are are we ready to move to the next image then? Because the next image is also by Mickey. Sure. Okay. Okay, here we go. Great. It's a beautiful setting. Beautiful. Yeah. I Where is I this? Wow. Entered them more. This is a ballet studio in Cambridge, Mass. Jose Mateo Ballet Theater. Oh, wow. oh, Beautiful. Wow. I've never been there. Yeah. Beautiful. And they have one of their their second biggest studio has this amazing stained glass window. I love taking wow. photos in front of it. Gorgeous. Yeah. So it's, it's a great picture. It's a great idea. Um, again, I don't know why. I wish it would be more central. <laughs> Same. Weird. I yeah. don't know why. Not really, but um, and I wish maybe she, the ballerina, would look at him. You know what I mean? Again, it's like I don't know. Oh, that that connection almost. Maybe. Yeah, like if she would like look like look down to him, you know, with the leg up would be very pretty. But uh, she has a nice pointed foot. Not a fan of the wardrobe again, because I find that look cuts completely the leg line. Mm -hmm. Makes it a bit shorter, either bare legs or like kind of all the way, I find. But it's really beautiful um, background, wow. Ashley. Yeah, so I, I was thinking also about the head and the more the relationship with the back leg and the upper body and it felt like it was a little bit forced feeling and I think what Raquel said about looking down at the partner and establishing a connection would actually fix what I was thinking about it being a little bit strained looking. Um, that would give it more instead of energy like up and stopping more of an energy of looking down and then it, it draws her line into his line and that would be really pretty and actually her line is almost exactly like continuing if you look at his back leg and her back leg they almost go in a perfect line diagonally upward the her top foot could be a little bit better shaped it's, yeah. it's not totally sickled but it could be a little bit more of a a nice line there um and you can see her legs are so long and beautiful. So I agree with Raquel where I would probably not wear black shoes and also wear something bare leg. Cause if she, imagine if she had like 
skin color shoes and bare legs, her leg would look even longer. And you would see that her beautiful, like, um, especially on that back leg, that beautiful calf shape into the ankle. Like, I think that's so beautiful. And she has it, and it would just accentuate it more. But it's a beautiful picture, a beautiful setting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, well, I think that's, that's, uh, we're all set for that one there. And thank so you, thank you very much, Mickey, for joining us. And now up is Sam. And I'm going to bring Sam on board. No. So Sam is now on board as a panelist. Uh, Sam, you want to check your microphone and activate it? Okay, I think, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, hey ladies. Um, I know it's a guy, so, but uh, <laughs> I think I have a lady also. Um, I guess first impressions and any corrections that you would love. I really love this picture. Um, you can tell he's a professional. I love how you can see all the muscles. I like it a lot. Um, the only thing, maybe I wish we could have seen his whole foot in the back. So have the leg a little bit more cross. Because mm -hmm. the foot looks like, a, you know, like sure. Mm -hmm. I wish I would have um, seen... But that's it. It's beautiful. I have. I can see the emotion. I can see the movement. I like it. <laughs> cool. I do too. I really. I think it's a beautiful shot. He's beautiful. Yeah. He's like what Kelly said. Like, I mean, I. I really just want to give it compliments. Like his uh, energy of where the eyes and the head is looking right over his his arm which is really nice so that energy is all going in the same direction outward right. his back arm is the same line as the leg which is really important also um, and I didn't even think of it but I think that Raquel's correction about the back foot would be a nice addition to it but otherwise Where's he from? He's obviously a professional dancer. Um, he, I think Ballet San Antonio, he has a twin brother mm. and they were in town, so we did some fun. Oh, cool. It's great. Yeah, it's very nice. Um, okay, that, that was awesome. Um, and then I guess if I have like a moment, uh, I would be curious, I'm sure other people would be curious. Um, do you guys in your careers ever have time for like extra fun photo shoots? And if so, what do you look for when doing them, whether it's collaborative or you're kind of paid for your time? I don't know, just your take and what you look for. I appreciate the question, Sam. And, and actually, it's something I was going to bring up at the oh, end. But, okay. but, but let's go ahead and do it right now and, and, and lead them right okay. into it. Because Ra Raquel and I, you know, we were talking about that beforehand. So I love these questions. And Ashley and Raquel, if you can answer those, that would be great. Wanna go? Raquel, uh, sure. Um, I feel like Raquel, you've done a lot more than I have as far as that goes. I, um, I usually have a lot of fun. I've done more, I would say, collaborative stuff. And um, for me, it's fun to see what each photographer um, brings to to each shoe, like because everyone has their own style. So um, one of my favorites is New York City Dance Project. Um, they do studio shots and they're just so artistic with it. And really, I mean, I came and I, I posed, I tried to bring what I could, but also it's really from their end, their their artistry that they have and they, they put on, you know, a certain aesthetic that they're going for. And, and to me, that's really interesting. Um, and then doing outdoor shots are, are fun too. I think, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know how much to add. Raquel, you probably have more to say about this. I mean, like I was talking about it with Ron before, as professional dancer also, and because of um, the social media, we have a lot of photographers who ask you if you want to be able to shoot and stuff, which, I mean, is, is a really great thing, you know, to have people asking you. It's just... Um, 
like sometimes you have good experience sometimes you have no good experience and what i look for if i say yes is that there is someone that actually knows about ballet even a little bit because um for example i do want somebody so ballet it's special as i think you kind of know it could be just a centimeter or like a, i don't know even less than a centimeter difference that makes a big change in ballet okay it could be the hips it could be the arm anything so when i do a photo shoot i look forward to have somebody that can give me feedback to make me look better for example if i'm not stretching my foot i would want the photographer to be like very good but can you stretch your front foot or can you not break your neck or can you i i do want that because then it would be less wasting of time and there would be a better collaboration because at the end it happened to me that i had photo shoot where i know the light was great i know the background was great but i just hated myself and i ended up maybe doing two good pictures out of 200. so i think mm -hmm. that's when maybe then dancers start being like i don't know if i want to do another photo shoot with somebody i don't know you know on instagram because i think it's important for you for photographers to know a little bit about it especially if you're a professional dancer too like if you have a you don't wanna we are so busy and you don't wanna have them standing around and being unhappy you know it's gonna of, be pickier right yeah it's just it's just important i think and it's like we can find really a, a good collaboration between a good light and a good position you know it just has to be together it cannot be just i like it because the light is good because if the dancer is not happy it's just not right sam i think you you understand you agree yeah no i i would agree i i i'm a retired ballet dancer and i have very few shots of me because i was so picky and i wish i had done <laughs> more but yeah <laughs> you see so that's i think it's it's bad or not to have someone telling you like yeah but but she yeah. she asked another question and, and i think it's kind of an important one in, in how we approach uh professional dancers like yourselves and that that is you know should should we offer money up front or should we just you know because you know you guys put a lot of work into becoming a professional dancer how do you feel about that ashley you go I think it really depends. For me, I think, and what Ron is, I think, trying to help everyone with is that you're showing your work, right? If, when you present the invitation or the idea of collaborating or doing a paid photo shoot, I mean, A, it depends what it's for. If it's just as a collaboration, for me, if I really, really like the work that I see in their portfolio, then I'm going to and if I have the time, then I might be interested in just collaborating because together you'll create something beautiful and why not, you know, and that's, that's creating art together. Um, that's how I feel about it. It's really about kind of what Raquel was saying, just the product that you're, you'll hope to get. I mean, you never know how it's going to turn out, right, until you do it. But you can usually tell from someone's work if they've worked with, um, you know, more professional dancers, that's going to always show as a, a good sign. Um, I think, Sam, for you, you you were a dancer, so you have an educated eye. And on what Raquel was saying is, I think that's actually one of the most important things. And you're going to be able to give feedback to the dancers. You're going to see the lines. You're going to know what's a sickled foot and what's not. And when somebody really doesn't know ballet, they might not know these things. And so it's gonna be that much more challenging. So for the, the photographers that, that don't have a dance background, I would say do your best to do homework and educate your eye. Because by educating your eye, you're gonna improve your, if you wanna do dance photography, you're gonna improve your photos no matter what, because you're gonna just right off the bat be able to eliminate those ones that don't have those lines that that we're looking for and that's the point right of the dance photography it's this sculpture 
sculptural look and and uh, lines are just so important with with this, these photos so i mean for me when i accepting or not accepting invitations like that it's about seeing the work they've done what they post because what they post that you're choosing right what you put on your instagram or whatever so if you put something that that a professional dancer doesn't really like then they're gonna think twice that's my um for i guess for this shot um the this was actually playing after we got all the shots we needed but her bum is showing and maybe her back leg isn't as turned out but i think we she was trying to focus on her april mall more i guess yeah. would you would you like this shot of yourself or would you want further correction for this i love it i, I love I, it too and i like that it's turned in actually because the first thing yeah. i look at is that like curve s curve of the, mm -hmm. the energy from the arm to the leg to the foot and it's so beautiful and then the same energy going from the front leg to the back leg and i think she achieved yeah. that april mall it's great i just would have, uh, have the um, hands either closer or bigger like you know what i mean it's mm -hmm. like in between yeah really yeah she's kind of lines. crunching the space on the back of her neck a little bit that's it the rest is okay. beautiful yeah mm -hmm. cool <laughs> If it, was, if it was turned out that back leg more like all the way you may not have achieved that yeah that line that's yeah. Too high. really it's great thank you okay well thank you very much um next up is going to be steve wiley and i'm bringing him on right now so steve you'll need to uh check to see about your audio you need to turn your audio on in the lower left still looking for your audio in the lower left if you put your uh um take there you go perfect okay i'm here so okay. this this photograph was taken um as a part of a a request by this dancer. She's a high school dancer who specializes in contemporary uh, jazz and hip hop. So I'm sorry it's not ballet, but um, hopefully you can give me an idea of what you think. I think yeah, I think, I think it's a great picture because I see the movement. I can see the jump. It tells me something because I like the energy. Like I can, I can feel the energy. Even the position, it's quite nice. I like how it goes like that. Um, I don't know, it doesn't, the, the feet and the oats are fine, I find. Um, I don't know, maybe to be picky, the, the arms, if both would have been like more facing, it would have been even like, like perfect, but Overall, I really like it. You, Ashley? I also really like it. I Like what Kelly said, I, I think the energy of it is really nice. The thing that, the something that just popped into my head was, I would actually like, um, I don't know, she wanted to be looking down, but I would put the eyes more, I feel like it's going like straight down. And if it was just like, a, even at a, low angle but not straight down it might be even more energetic a little bit more um present in a way yeah um, like like right above her foot sort of angle. yeah that, that, that's again being picky but it's a beautiful energetic yeah, style cool. with a nice curved line the hair looks nice even so. <laughs> Great. Well, I thank you. The thing that was that I really liked about this, this is like the fifth shot uh, of doing this, this movement. And uh, what I really liked as a photographer, frankly, is the light fell on her face. <laughs> and obviously, uh, you know, that's probably not the most important thing from a dancer's perspective. Uh, but this one really, really worked well for me as far as I was concerned. Yeah. I, I appreciate your comments. Thank you very much. Thanks, Rob. Okay. So thank you, Steve. Now, now we have Stephen Connor here, and uh, he he's at work, 
but he's here. I'm going to bring him up as a panelist in case he can talk, but he told me earlier that he wouldn't be able to talk. Um, so, you know, if he is able to, great. And if not, you know, we're, we're gonna go ahead and, and, uh, and uh, just go without it. So Stephen, if you're able to, you can turn on your, your microphone, but if not, we're just gonna go ahead and take it. I'm just gonna presume that you're not. So uh, this is, uh, we talked about it earlier, earlier Chun from uh, the Houston Ballet. Your impressions? I mean, he is beautiful. I'm familiar. I've met him once and he's a beautiful dancer. Um, so, I mean, that's obviously a great subject to be working with. I might cross the knee all the way behind so you don't have that space and it's ev it'll be even more of a, a reaching position that way. Uh, maybe a little bit with the bottom foot, nicer line. Um, I don't know if the top hand bothers me or not, but uh, it's a beautiful picture though. I mean, that's being super, super picky. If you could improve on a, a beautiful picture. Yeah, Mark Kelly. Yeah, um, it's exactly like you said. Like, I mean, again, his, his body is obviously so beautiful. Um, I just, yeah, would have crossed a little more the back leg so that the little space in between the knees, it's gone. I would also have had his hips a little more profile so that the front legs mm -hmm. looks even longer. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. even a little more like that. So the line goes like boom, like that. And, um, and maybe just the, f the upper arm a little like, it's like in between, like, you know, I would have bended a little, like the leg, a little more bend, oh. you know, like, I feel like this is, uh, I would have done a little more like that. Mm. But I mean, he's beautiful. He, he's so beautiful, beautiful body. And I mean, still like this, it looks <laughs> great. Yeah. But uh, yeah, probably just the bottom foot could be a little bit more, the, the line sort of straight like that. And, uh, but that's more like dancing. Um, you know, critique, because as a picture is, uh, I think it's beautiful. It tells the movement. It tells me something. I see the energy, but um, yeah, if I would be a photographer, I would tell him just next time to close the knees together so that there is no space and maybe have his hip a little more profile so that the front legs looks even longer. And that's all. Mm -hmm. Ashley, you have anything to add to that? Um, I, I just wonder, yeah. I, I, I'm just wondering if like, that's the, the back leg that you're looking for for this image here by Sam to be more well, like. No, be because yeah. that no. one, he's trying to cross the ankle and this one is the knee crossing. Okay. So it's a different, yeah. yeah, it's different. She did mention the foot, right? In the other mm -hmm. photo. So you yeah. want to see the that's foot, the foot. but just different. crossing the ankle. Yeah, yeah. okay. Okay, so we, we have uh, one. More. Did you want to add anything to this, Ashley, or go to the next one? No, well, I, I mean, to add on what she was saying, I think if he did turn the hips, he could also achieve a, more of an arch, which would just accentuate yeah, the, the, the energy, the lines and everything. And again, like that bottom foot, it's not bad. But it's like she said, it's very technical. So if, you, if you're looking piece by piece, then you notice, oh, that could use a little improvement. But I agree, the whole image as itself, even as a dancer, I, there's nothing that looks bad. So, yeah. you know, line-wise or anything, it's not like, oh, you know, we shouldn't use this picture. Like, this picture is good. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, totally. I agree. Yeah. Okay, and then here is our second to last image, also by Stephen O'Connor. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like the lines. I think the the foot pointing directly up is beautiful. The, her arm and his arm are at the same level. And then his arm and her bottom arm are also going in the same line. So all of these lines are very symmetrical and I really like that. And even her head is going directly almost directly down as the leg goes up i think it's beautiful Markella? i'm thinking because it's beautiful but i don't know there's like something 
I can't tell. <laughs> no, I feel like if she would have been a, a little less over and a little more like that, you know what I mean? Her, her, her head is just like so low. I wish she would have been a little more like that. And the leg, not mm. that high, but a little more like diagonal. So they would, it would make this like boom, 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 oh, diagonal. Yeah, yeah. That's true. And you know what I mean? Yeah. And the arm of the guy on, on the, um, looks like the left one under the leg, because he has a black shirt. It looks like his, like, his arm is like this long. Well, yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? If he was without a shirt, maybe it would be more yeah. interesting yeah. because all of the lines of the shoulders and yeah. everything, right? I would have yeah. definitely chose a different, um, I would have done it without a shirt, like, um, yeah, mm -hmm. like uh, naked in the upper body. So, And I would have put her a little less over, a little more like that, so that you could see his arm longer. So with the head, the leg here, fur not here. So you can see the, and then his, her legs are a little less up, more diagonal to make like boom, three beautiful lines. Mm -hmm. And yeah, her head is kind of too low, I find. Mm -hmm. But that's, I don't know, I guess it's just my opinion. I like um, um, symmetrical and like uh, geometric yeah. things for the eye. So they but achieved some of it, but you're saying could be even more of that, right? Yeah, like if if she would be less over, her leg would be more close to his neck, so you will see more of his shoulder. Mm -hmm. And then imagine if her bottom leg instead of up would go a little more like that, it would make one, two, three, four, and one, two, three on the other side. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is one where you could play with them because it's it's a static pose. You could kind of, okay, let's try this leg here, this leg there, and sort of almost play with the pieces. <laughs> yeah. To make different uh, It has like, when you look it from out, it's great, but uh, yeah. But it's, again, it's a nice idea. Just maybe, yeah, without the black shirt. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. then you could also see her body wrapped more over his back yeah. right yeah they wouldn't blend yeah. together and be sort of like a blob in the center because you see how also the his hand of holding her mm -hmm. it's like kind of comes from nowhere right yeah like you if you would see maybe the muscles of the shoulder it would be prettier mm -hmm. than like it looks like he has no no hand no shoulder <laughs> <laughs> But it's good. It's a great idea. I like the black and white, and I like that it's simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Would you like his head turned up just a little bit? I mean, just the the angle of his head. It's a little bit again. Yeah, I agree. Just a little bit, like maybe more like in like outward. This. Yeah. Okay. So there's one last shot. I, you know, a lot of times we are asked to. Uh, do these kind of shots with the tutus. And, um, and I just wanted to put these up and just kind of get your sense as to what your thoughts are on, on these shots with, with the tutus. And is, what else can, you know, what else do you like to see when we're trying to show off tutus like this? I mean, um, in, yeah, you go, Ashley. No, 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 go ahead. No, I think it's, uh, for example, the first picture, it's lovely because it's very, you can see the tutu, her fifth position is nice, her head, while in the second one, I don't like one arm down, one arm up. It just uh, bothers me a little. And also the last one would not be one of my choice. Like I really like the first one. And um, for the tutu showing, I know I've done like a lot of photo shoot for like um, ballet clothes. Um, and uh, every time I remember, they will ask me, we need to see the leotard and that would make my position look weird. So it's always very hard to show off the leotard and be in a ballet position. But for a tutu, the first one is a great picture to show it off. Or I would mostly do sitting with the camera on top mm -hmm. also. That would be nice. Yeah, I've done that a lot. 
because um, sometimes you cannot really see well when it's only like this. You only see the, the tutu, but you don't see the whole upper body. Mm -hmm. What do you think, yeah. Ashley? I agree. I mean, the first one is, is, I would say, the best one because you can see everything very clearly. Like Raquel said, her arms are really nice and symmetrical, like a really nice round position. Yeah, I said her head. What? Her head is pretty to the side, not That's just. I was gonna that. say, yeah, I like that too. That you see her face a little bit, so it's it's not like what's happening with her head. It's in a position. It's intentional, and you see her face. The fifth position is very clean, so the legs, even though you don't see a lot of the legs, what you do see is very clean. Um, like yeah. in the second picture, the fifth position, even though she's obviously a young dancer. Um, but they could help her and tell her to be in a, a little bit more of a fifth position. Her back arm, even if they did do the high back arm, it's completely uh, not symmetrical with the rounded one that's down towards her feet. I would yeah. say if she's going to stick it up there to match that line yeah. upward or just do it low or do something that's more symmetrical um and then in the third one um again it's a different style she's maybe even a different style dancer a little bit but even though the, the shape like the arch you can see she has really nice arches in the back foot but a trained eye knows that that foot is tickled so yeah. it's kind of like not in a good position anyway so I uh, would say shape that foot better and then also the hands it's just kind of not I don't know for me it could be in a nicer like more shaped position with the fingers or the hands a little bit more thought out yeah totally um, but uh, yeah I would also um, advise sitting and shooting from the mm -hmm. top cool Okay, well, very good. Well, um, thank you very much for doing this image critique with us. I, I think there is so much for us to have, like learn from, you know, like, like seeing it from your perspective. Uh, I just want to turn it back to you uh, one last time to just see if you have any uh, final comments uh, for the dance photographers watching this. Um, I had I had fun doing this. Um, it was I feel like it was good to kind of look at things and, and um, talk about it, give input. Um, one thing I wanted to say actually about the performance photography, how it is really different than the studio photography is um, just about the training your eye because you are at that point, you really are having to choose and eliminate, you know, the bad ones from the good ones from what you were given as far as like one sh one chance to try to capture good moments so you weren't able to redo things so there's only probably going to be a couple of good ones and just to really have a trained eye so you can see that sickled foot or that leg that's not straight or the angle that could be better for the dancer and for yourself so just to train your eye that's my biggest uh suggestion for everybody especially if you don't i mean if you have a dance background then you have an educated eye but if you don't then just do it expose yourself watch videos and things like that because the more you see then the more you'll understand that's my input yeah right, Kelly. yeah i think what ashley say it's uh, it's great and uh, it's right and i think it would then give you more opportunity to be able to shot also with like more professional dancers because again we have such a busy schedule and sometimes um if we agree to do it because we see their pages of the photographer and we see beautiful picture it would be nice um it would be a good collaboration between us and them knowing something about the ballet and it will make the photo shoot more fun. It will make everything just easier and easier for the photographer to have more and more professional dancers to, to shoot. 
but um, again, I think it's uh, so beautiful that like a lot of photographers are, they like to shoot ballet, it's great. And um, it's nice for us to, for our, you know, representation to have good shots to show. And um, so it's a, it's a plus plus for both and it's, it's great. And, uh, and it's great that everyone was so interested today and I'm happy to learn about it. Thank you. <laughs> Every dancers will thank you forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. I know we've learned a lot from it. And uh, now we can take uh, some of the knowledge you gave us and go out and practice. So thank you. And that's going to uh, end this webinar. And uh, so thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you Ron. That was fun. You bet. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.